Welcome back, everybody, to another satisfactory stream with Mr. Fox Crimson, episode 30, guys. Episode 30. This is insanity. Episode 30. As you know, I'm your host, of course, and I got myself some black coffee. Salute. Okay. Today's plan, if you guys remember from last sesh, I managed to greatly upgrade plastics and rubber, and we are actually full on those materials which is great. Now, that being said, we got the jetpack, we got all sorts of neat little things going on. Something I do want to do real quick. We're gonna head over to coal, my coal facility at the far end of the place. And then we'll head back to uh, nuclear processing to see if we can get the um, particle accelerator up and running. But nitric acid needs to be done next. Which is nitrogen gas, which we have plenty of water. Now, here's the thing I want to test with the bottling plants. I, I, I want to see when you use bottling plants, you get the canisters back. If you unpack, I, I, I could be wrong. But I'm probably not wrong. Didn't realize I was that full on materials. <laughs> okay, we need a Xeno miner, or well, a portable miner. Here we go. Miner Mach 3. There we go. Get chewing. The coal is going to be real. Now, here's what I find rather interesting. Um, ended up replacing many of the miners, so we ended up giving us more back. We picked up something, I'm not sure what. There we go. I need more steel pipes, which I just don't have enough. I don't think I have the steel to make the pipes. No, I'm pretty sure I don't. It takes ingots, which I don't have. Okay. Oh, well, it's Captain America's here. Now we've got a Miner Mach 3 supplying coal to my uh, coal generators, so I don't really ever have to worry about it. Mew. Bring on to you too, old cat. She's deaf, she can't hear me for beans. She's gotten so old, she's gone deaf. Alright. Let's head to nuclear storage. Uh, yeah, nuclear, the nuclear warehouse. Nuclear fuels, whatever you want to call it. I really do want to replace these pipes, pipeline twos at some point. I think the actual intent here for the gas would probably be to package it in the bottles and send it down the lines as opposed to what I've done here with these this giant keystone pipeline. Keep clipping that stupid thing. Alright, so we need to go up. 
under the underpass, and up we go. I don't have my rat suit, so I need to be very careful out here. Okay, so nitric acid, nitrogen gas, water, and iron plates. The water I have is over there. Mm, but that water could be used too. But there's a lot of nuclear fuel problems over here. Uh, uh. Okay. Was there any more water close by? Not really. I mean, <laughs> there's water just not near what I want to do. Maybe. If I'm careful. Might be too close. I may not be able to pull this off. Yeah, no. I'm, I need to get my rad suit. I'm not going to risk mucking around over there. Whoa, dang nabbit. I actually... Let's just save us a bunch of time and do a quick load. Yes, the coal generator is not going to have my um, these in it, but that's fine. We'll sort my inventory out. Containers, steel. Get rid of that real fast. Engaged beams. I think we're good on everything here. I'll get rid of these two. Alright, so we know we're going to be working with nuclear fuel, so I need my hazmat suit. Where's my hazmat suit? There's my filters. There's my hazmat suit. Okay. So here's the plan. I've got a bunch of containers in my inventory. See, I've got some fuel containers here. Now, what we're going to try doing is playing around. Well, we can find this out right now. Uh, 54 containers of packaged fuel. Well, actually. See how fuel lasts. It doesn't last for beans, but we'll kind of see if it gives me the empty containers back. Because if it doesn't, then we might have a problem. Look at that. We've ticked through three containers already. Biovast right now is so much better. I mean, if we got a speed boost out of it, that'd be pretty awesome, but we don't. Fuel is unbelievably inefficient. think we get containers back, do we? Not when it's consumed like this. Alright, let's get the rat suit on. 
We're gonna play. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. So we're gonna play around with a few things real quick. Production packagers. So if I unpackage fuel, it does give me the canisters back. Okay, awesome. That's what I was hoping for. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the water that's being produced over there by nuclear fuels. Maybe I can hear. How full is this? Very full. How full is this? It's full of sulfuric acid because we're not really using a lot of it right now. All right. So I... Let me think. Let's see, packager. Put a pipeline junction across. What well, we have across here. We're gonna add another one right here, real quick. You're going to make packaged water. Right. Now I need containers. This is where it's going to get rather interesting. Where are my containers going? Containers are being used where? Here, right? Yep, so let me grab these containers. You're, uh, you... Oh my god, is that you full? Oh god, that's a lot of fuel. No wonder what, wow, okay. That's where all the radiation's come from, is those guys. Just out here in the middle, full of uranium cells. Alright. We're gonna put the empty containers in here to make packaged water. top and hook up this conveyor lift to bring the water up and then we'll just run a pipe from the nitrogen gas and line up here across hook it up there and run it across won't be an issue put a tank up there I'll probably need to connect a few more A few more uh, of the nitrogen gas connectors to it, which is fine. That's the whole point. And then up here, we'll put a blender. I need iron plates. Which we have. That's one cheeky power slug that's sitting right there, too. Taunting me. That's as high as you can go. Okay, it's fine. All right. We need glass foundations. We're going to switch back to my Blade Runner since we're up here. Build out more of this. But we're gonna do it right. I wanna make sure I build it the right way. <laughs> Useful thing that jetpack. I just sideways. Okay.
start connecting all of these things together. These power slugs are very cheeky. Look at them, they're just out there like, yeah, boy. Okay. We're gonna have to finish this the f foundation build if I want to get any progress done tonight. Because we're gonna put the blender up here. I kind of want to put the blender over there so I don't have to run a um, ridiculous amount of piping for the nitrogen gas. so much distance. Dang. Okay. Okay. Whew we Talk about tight or tight rope walking up here, right? I thought I was falling. <laughs> okay, now to make this work. At the end of the day, this is gonna need non official uranium and uranium waste. Non fissile uranium requires nuclear waste, uranium waste, silica, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid. Okay, we're making sulfuric acid, so what I'm probably gonna do is split it and package it. I don't need nearly as much as I'm making down below. So I need a blender for starters. Okay, we need production, we need blender. going to make nitric acid. To do this, I need to unpackage what I've got here first. Unpackage water. Got better I got a better idea for this. Hang on. Pick this up. Pick you back up. Packager, packager, packager. Unpackaged water. Right. Blender. We're going to make nitric acid. There's the water. 
There's the water. Now, we need to get the nitrogen gas over here from there. We're gonna add some more structure here to protect myself. Cross, shift. No, you know, we got a better idea. Hang on. Logistics, organization, fluid buffer. Pipeline junction cross, like so. Pipeline grade two, into here. And because this game is kind of broken, it will just pump. It won't even matter. Get this pipeline up here. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, still too far. Mach two. And this is what's so broken about nitrogen gas is that it just doesn't care. We may have to go get some plastics from offshore, from plastics depository. I don't have really, I didn't realize I didn't have enough. I mean, I can fill it with regular pipes and just upgrade them later, which I'll probably do that now anyways, just to get this completed. Because upgrading, upgrading it later is gonna be whatever. There we go. It doesn't even need a pump. That's what's crazy. I can't wait. This looks so good because I can see down there too. Now this should only need sulfuric acid and iron plates. It just needs iron plates to make nitric acid. All right, iron plates, that could be a problem. I don't know if we're actually making iron plates out here. limestone and there's containers and that's encased beams right so let's take a look and see what's going on over here processing and this processing plant iron plates
Hmm. That didn't seem to sit where it should have. Are these things not perfectly aligned? They are not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we get creative. Who's clearance are you encroaching? This one's? Yes, you are. Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> All right. Iron plates. Here we go. to get more uh, aluminum or switch to steel for the time being to make sure this I have enough materials. Oh yeah, we don't have nearly enough all clad for this. That's fine. We'll have to get some more. I'm gonna use steel for the time being though. It's not like the end of the world. I think we'll go ahead and, and use the steel anyways. No, you know, I got a better idea on what I'm doing. Hang on. I was going to go ahead and push everything up on this side. Like you see, I have the daisy chain belt up there. I don't need to. I forgot this has another side. I don't have an issue. I 
I really don't have an issue with carving a hole through things if it makes logical sense. Where here it does. Can't afford that, so we go something cheap. Four, we go to Mach 3s. That'll work. Oof, jetpack does not have enough vertical lift to do what I want to do. Okay. Jetpack's kind of jank. It doesn't have enough bang. I mean, once it doesn't have enough thrust to get me up high enough. Like, it's going to be good for crossing gaps. I'd rather use the hyperpack on the electrical grid. Jetpack will be good for me hunting down power slugs on walls, though. No. There. There's the wayward pole. Definitely going to have to go on a chainsaw run here. Bad, I can't reach it from here. Where is that hook? There it is. Hmm. I wonder. Just for the time being, so I can see what I'm doing. Let's do this. I'm going to switch to my jetpack. Which you put the wrong pack on, Mr. Crimson. You wanted this. Not playing around with you boys. Anyone else? Any more you gas plants around? Want some? Hmm? Who wants some death explosives? Oh, you, oh, oh, you do. Anyone else? Oh, you're, you're cheeky. Hey, guess what? Huh, it gets rid of trees quite nicely, too. A little over elegant for what I need, but hey, it works. Like I said, a little over elegant, but hey, it works. And lo and behold, whoop, whoop, de -de -ba. Le uh, flowers, leaves, wood, my runners. We ended up running into a uh, crash site here. Watch the frames. Probably more here. Ah, in case beams. Top pod needs one crystal oscillator, which I don't have on me. Well, we know where to get one. I may I, I have a stack of them. Alien organs. Encased beams. Yeah, so what I was gonna do to show you, I can't I don't really want to punch a hole through there. So let's go back up top. Not I don't know if I can get back up there with a the jetpack. Uh, we were just talking about it not being the greatest thing in the world. Let 
No, it's it's got no vertical thrust. Whoa. Jetpack's only gonna be good for me if I'm hunting down slugs on the walls. Kind of too bad. It, it's a waste of materials and fuel. Take it with me when I hunt power slugs, you know. Why not? What are you encroaching on? Power pole? Really? That makes more sense. Cool. It looks cleaner too, you know? Alright, it's the original plan. We're gonna do a little bit of interesting little science here. The yeah, stack of a pole. That might be too close. In fact, I can almost guarantee it's too close. Yeah, it's gonna give me an invalid shape. Okay, that's fine. I know a way around that. Steel plates. Now, the steel plates have to go over to the blender. I'm going to run the steel plates around the back of this. to figure out how I want to do this. This is not permanent. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take it down and put it back up later. Because I need the building space. There we 
go for switch you to go here above threes. Yeah, I could have gone straight across, but what's the point? It doesn't look as cool. <laughs> Gas, water, and plates needs power. This whole whole system needs power, actually. Huh. Good question about what I'm thinking. Can I get to the? Oh boy! Did it? Uh, get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Wow! The radiation coming off that system is so high that it hits me here. these things because I am hurting it's all coming off this oh my god <laughs> so you are unpacking water you are making Nitric acid, so you're gonna need a storage tank. Uh, don't need more plastic. Crap in a can. I can do a fluid buffer for now. I can probably do a couple, I can probably daisy chain a couple of fluid buffers together. Just for safekeeping. Ew. That was wrong. <laughs> These don't make like this, do they? No, I think they did. They look like they should. That would be amazing if they did, but they don't. Here's the fun part. We need to return this. Time to run down. Because what we're going to do is return the empty containers to the, to the packaging plant. 
since we're not voiding anything, we're just processing, I can make a, a endless water loop with the containers, which I might actually do for the nuclear plant instead of constantly keeping it full with tanks and pipes. Just give it 200 containers of water, keep it running on the packaging plants. Might be more efficient. Might very well be more efficient since we're not consuming it, you know? It's really just the resources to make it. It's nothing. All right, packaging plant is here. Oof. It's clearance though, it's a little bit worrisome. steep so this has to go up even higher okay it's hard to tell hard to gauge this dimension here from down here at least I'm not sure we turn the containers and send them right back up again okay I sure don't have any empty containers myself nope and that should send the containers back they fill the water and up they go. Awesome. Awesome. I like that. That works. That very much works. Are we keeping up with the water? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. See, this is why I'm processing containers here. This consumes containers. Because this is a byproduct of making the rods. <laughs> well, the encased uranium cells. I do gotta get these built. <coughs> Staters. And limiters. I mean, we have those back at the spawn. I may end up piping ECMs back here from home spawn. <coughs> what kind of need to get more plastic at some point? Oh, yeah, hang on. Nitric acid is good. So. non fissile uranium required nitric, nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Well, guess what? We have sulfuric acid. Production package our plants take plastic. So that's where we are at. We need more plastic, which means we have to go over to fluids. Now, I'm no idiot, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, I need a crystal oscillator. Anyways, let's head back to spawn. And we'll go back and pick up a ton of plastic. So I should have a bunch of now stored up. Hey, Mr. Flex, is there a way to play with friends and some mods? Uh, I don't know about mod support yet. I'm not sure where Coffee Stain has taken the game on mods. But yeah, you can do friends by managing the session and inviting someone to your game from inside the game itself. At least I think so. I'm not gonna actually, uh, let's check it, ready? Man session, which is the multiplayer. 
and then you do invites and so on. Yeah, you're coming in and near end game stuff here. What I'm doing now is I've been 30 different casts of getting this factory to the point where I'm almost completely self-sufficient. As in, I should be able to run this thing permanently without having to worry about power problems, storage problems. But my god, the amount of radiation coming off my nuclear plant, my nuclear few, uh, factory is crazy. Very much fun. If you've ever played any kind of good building game, like Minecraft or anything like that, this game blows that out of the water. And I'm a huge, was a huge, uh, am a huge Minecraft fan. Oh, wait, we need plastics. Right. Well, I need to refill the car anyways. Alright, go over here and fill the car up. Lots of coal going on. Uh, yeah, let's check on my plastic cr plastics. Oh, plastics look full. I think if I just saw that right, we're good. No, not necessarily full. Looks like we are consuming them at a pretty good clip. We have some plastics. I'm gonna need three stacks, at least. Is this package water? Oh, I don't need your get out of inventory. <laughs> okay, we got plastics again. I'm gonna get two more stacks. Almost tempted to go back and add even more to the uh, plastics facility. Back on over to nuclear processing now that I've got more plastics. I'm very glad we spent the last last session rebuilding fuel um, fluids because oh my god. We're probably full on supercomputers too, which means we'll have a huge overflow of plastics once that's done. But keep in mind, once we get this done. I have to build machines to craft the last four um, rocket parts. And oh my god, it's going to take so much time. It's like 4,000 a piece. Hence why we need a particle accelerator, because I need nuclear pasta. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> That's what they call it. But we'll get there. We will get there. Clunk. All right. So yeah, if you have any questions about this game, ask. Uh, at this point, I've pretty much built everything and have a great idea of how a lot of this works. As you can see. All uh, right. So the next thing we need to do is... Was it the non-fissile uranium? Waste, silica, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid. Okay. Are we wearing our? Yeah, we are. Radiation suit. Boing. Oh, I keep doing that. You know... Heal up real quick here. Okay, so we need to make... Sulfuric acid go up. I've got the giant tank of it here. Production. I think we're going to do the same thing. Packaging plant. And just pipe it up like we're doing. Now we need to put a junction cross here. Pipeline Mach 2. Now I've got all the plastics again. You are going to make packaged sulfuric acid. 
the power line. That's a power line. There's one. Now, you need to send. I didn't pick up all clad. Nah, that's fine. Up you go, my friend. That way. Now let's get up top. When we get back up top, we'll get the sulfuric acid up above, and we'll ho start hooking it up into a, is it another blender for non-fissile? Non-fissile uranium does take a blender. Okay. Silica. Silica could be... Oh no, we'll be fine. There's a... Quartz factory right out there, right down the road. Awesome. We'll just pipe it up here. We'll connect it with a couple. Of, we'll split it and then transport the raw stuff this way. And we'll take the silica and make it up here. That'll be easy. Easy, easy, easy peasy. However, I do want to do some upgrades. better. Pipeline Mach 2s just have better capacity and better flow rate. Okay. Uranium waste is going to come up here. The silica. Okay. Where is that? There it is. We need a another blender. Okay. Blender. Blender. That is packaged. That's going to be packaged sulfuric acid. So we need another packaging plant. All right. Easy peasy. Can I line you up with your friend? I like to line you up with your friend. Yeah, that'll do. Can that reach from there? Yes. Unpackage. Uh, package nitric acid. Uh, unpackage. Sulfuric acid. Oops, wrong pipeline. I want pipeline Mach 2. Thank you. Ooh, I need to expand the platform all the way to the wall. This is nitric acid. You need to not backfeed into it. Where's the valve? Is it? Okay. So, nitric acid is right here. He's going to there. Do I want to do another packaging plant? I think that's not a bad idea. Packaging plant loop. Yeah, I think that's actually a really good idea. I like this packaging plant loop stuff. You're going to package nitric acid. So let's get this hooked up to the power grid. That bowl's getting kind of full. You're gonna make unpackage me sulfuric acid, so then I need to return. What else do you need? You need to make non-fizzle uranium. Wait, you make waste material? You make water back. Oh. 
Well, that could be a small problem. No, 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 it's not really. I know what to do, how to get rid of that water. That won't be an issue. So this is gonna need nitric acid, sulfuric acid. So we've got nitric acid, we've got sulfuric acid here, nitric acid here. We need to package the nitric and bring it back here. Can I build up? Can I get away with doing this? Way up here? And connecting it to the first socket on this side? Because that would be great. <laughs> Let's see if it lets me get away with this. Awesome. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's right, that's not gonna work. Right, okay, that's right, that's not gonna work that way. Because we need to send nitric gas to it. So we need a packager. I'm close to the radiation because those things are putting off more more nuclear radiation than they have any right to. Yeah, the radiation you're seeing on my screen is not from the things below me. It's from that. Because that's the, um... That's where the nuclear waste is going. And it's gonna run right back over here. Until it's all processed out. floor out. Yeah, for those who don't know, glass foundations, which are what I'm using for the to be able to look down, you have to get them from the awesome shop. Are they going mental over there in the house? bird that worked its way f in, into one of our walls and she can come and go but she made her nest in the chimney so we have little baby pe peeping birds and out, and out there we can't get to them they're in the chimney but the fireplace doesn't work don't worry uh, probably Give me, come here, you. This belt, this guy's been taunting me. This power slug. I'm welcome back, Mrs. BBB. By the way. For those of you who are new to the channel, awesome. Yeah, we're just gonna incorporate that because it looks kind of cool. <laughs> uh, you're gonna package the material, and you're gonna unpackage the material, and then I gotta run it into here. That's gonna be a bit too long to connect. We may have to cheatsy. Well, not cheatsy, but bend physics a little bit. I think that's going to be too long. I'm pretty sure it's going to be too long of a belt. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 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 How far did it go? I 
don't see why she shouldn't be able to. She's the one who made the nest. Take a little break. I'll be right back.
All right, folks, I'm back. Yeah, we have a mama bird and a baby bird in our fire chimney, and it's raining out, and they're not very happy <laughs> about the weather. And neither is this cat at my feet, the oldest cat ever. Oh. Wait, too steep? Too long, and probably too steep. All right, we'll, we'll play around a little bit more with this. Let's get these built up and get this connected to this machine here to unpack the materials I need to unpack. There we go. So this should unpack you're unpacking sulfuric you're unpacking nitric I need to get some containers up here I don't think I have any on my inventory do I No, not a problem. Yeah, me too. I hope it is just the rain causing the freak. You know, we're going to go do this better way. I'm going to go ahead and grab them out of the uh, processing system here. There. That should be good. is a problem still because I got a pipe right above it so maybe I can do something like this there we go I can't afford that either I am low 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 on things that I didn't think I need to be I would be low on radiation's getting bad I still need to get silica up there too. Yeah, if I had to take a while to guess Mrs. BBB, I, I think it's just the rain, the bad weather's probably messing with them real hard. Oh, it's gonna hurt. At least that's my hope, and it's just the rain messing with them real bad. And I just totally dukes of hazard that jump. <laughs> full of steel, Batman. Alright. Round 
found nothing new. There we go, a little quick recraft to fix everything. I still need to get the silica up here, but getting the nitric and the sulfuric acid would be the hardest parts. Because that is going to be the hardest part. So I need to get that material up here to be able to um, properly craft the recycling system for my nuclear waste. There we go. All right. Let's switch back to the of clothing just in case that could be a problem or not depending how I make it okay conveyor packager take empty fluid tank oh god okay hang on empty fluid tank that aluminum mm, it is to make fluid tanks okay well not a problem I can work with that I can work with this mew what do you want sweet cat So that's the return for the pressurized tanks. So this will package the tanks. This will send the tanks over. The tanks will come into here. And then we need to return the tanks from here. Okay. Holy smoke, that's way up there. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> that's probably going to say encroaching on those clearances. Yeah, it is. It's too close. Fooey. Three, 
Conveyor belt Mach 3s. Come over this way, please. God darn it. Connect this to here. Go here. Connect you to here. The reason we're doing this is because I don't know how much clearance I'm going to need for some of the other things I need to build. Okay, so that should return the fluid bottles back to this. So this should now be sulfing contained for the sulfuric acid. You can take the packaged sulfuric acid in the cans. The cans are now full. The cans need to go back to the return system. Which I thought we attached. No, we did not. Oh, God. Okay. Um, hmm. Right. Didn't have the materials. <sighs> All right, so now we're going to run the belt out this way. So, I'm gonna hook up a conveyor belt Mach 3 and run it all the way up as high as I can. That'd be good. Thinking here for a minute, thinking real hard, trying to figure out. make this all connect. I do know I need to run back. I gotta go get a couple of things. One, I need to get um, make a stack of, of bottles for nitrate. Uh, so I can just get this system started. Since it's a re uh, it will be an enclosed return. The other one, which is the That's not even close to being hot enough. Okay. That will be... the return for the nitric acid, which is this guy. Where is it? It's right there. Okay, we can get, we can get away with this. Put a pole here just because I like clean and organized. Yes, we can. Epic. And that should now complete the sulfuric acid system. So you have sulfuric acid. You don't have nitric acid because I don't, don't have it yet. I will. Yeah, 100 containers worth wonders. You're doing something well with water. Yeah, packaged water. Which goes into this guy who is making nitric acid, which is full. Okay, now let's talk about this thing. It's going to make water. I need to be very careful. This is going to output non fissile uranium and water. So there's the water. I need production. I need a packager. Pack 
package package water which will be out of containers which will be this and then from here I need to ditch the water here connect you to this pole here okay so this will take the package water and ditch the water which means I need to get packaged packages uh, containers up here that's plates I'm just gonna split the containers the same way and bring them up Containers, splitters. Hold on a minute. I'm not going to worry about it. Mm, it's too far up my mouse pad. There we go. Uh, run that up there. So we're going to get that connected up there. And we're going to split the... Containers that I'm making to go up top to make them permanent water voids. I got enough copper and plastic, so let's. Use some pipeline upgrades as I can. <laughs> I'm thinking I may have to attach another one of the nitrogen units to it. So far, so good, but still. Interesting daisy chain. There are three. Where is there? All right, so there's containers. to connect to that packaging plant. Which should be this one. Game, come on. Yeah, all right.
So there's the connector for this system. I'm going to run this over here. We're this close to getting a lot of this done. Because once I get the, the physical material, the non-physical physical material, I can either turn it into play. If it will take it to the rods, great. If not, I'll just dump it into the sink directly. And save me a headache. Here, please and now you connect to there sweet so that should be an endless materials coming in to dump the water from these guys I need still need the nitric bottles I need silica and uranium waste I'm running low on time silica we've got silica I'll show you where we've got silica from it's right down there Yeah, getting silica right now is not hard. We actually have an abundance of the stuff. Right there. Splitter. Yes. Conveyor. Yes. I got a better idea. I'm just going to have to make sure I'm in my rat suit to do this. I've got a much better idea. Instead of going through Hill and Dale. Eight. Splitter. Go. Let's get this thing rigged up. We're going to go ahead and process this material up there. My eventual goals and never have to come back to this area again. Well, you're chewing through iodine filters like it's nothing, though. Bring those crystals up to make the silica come the silica plants, and then. Yeah, convert the raw quartz to silica, feed it into this machine. And then I need to make uh, a couple of, of bottles. Once I make the bottles, I should be able to make the non fissile uranium. And then I'm going to see if I can pipe it in the sink directly. Because if I do, if I can, then I don't think I need plutonium for anything. I, I don't think I do. I might. I may make the plutonium rods. I don't know. 
I'm not going to use them because they're a problem. Plutonium rods make plutonium waste, and there's no way of getting rid of plutonium waste, so why would I do that? Alright. There you are. Hello, friend. We need a constructor. You are going to make silica for me. Can't afford it. Oh, I can do this one, yeah. All right. Aside from needing the, the nitric acid, this thing's pretty much ready to roll. Here comes a silica, which it's really not making a lot. We're gonna battery this thing up. Yeah, it's still not fast enough for my taste. Let's use my last battery and bang it all the way up. 3.2 seconds. Technically 900 a minute. If we need to, I think I may have to make a bank of these. Two of them, perhaps, with a merger. Might work out better that way. Depends on how much I need for this thing. It takes, what, 10 per? That's nothing, 25 per minute. That's making 90. We're good. It's actually making 90. <laughs> Come here. Give me that. 75 per minute. Yeah. We're good. Okay. Let's get out of here. Go get some aluminum. Make some aluminum bottles. Jetpack makes a nice tool for controlled foam, doesn't it? I really want to get this thing done so I can see if I can dump the nuclear pellets directly into uh, the sink. The non-fizzle uranium. I think we're about to do it. I think we're about to handle the nuclear waste problem. Because <laughs> we can, if this handles the nuclear waste problem, then I'm going to go ahead and put up another nuclear plant and go from there. Uh, aluminum. Right. You keep getting the golem jewels. That's hilarious. Hey, we heard you like golem builds, so we're going to give you golem jewels, even though you're not doing golem builds anymore. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever, ever think I have a factory that does all this.
there is. I need to steal one of these, please. Thank you. Uh, aluminum blocks. Like, not aluminum, anything else. Actual aluminum. Um, that's all clad. Well, I do need some all clad. Ooh, uh, you are raw aluminum, and you do not have enough coming in. Where are you going? You are going over here to be made into what? Fused casings. No, you're aluminum casings. Do we just not have straight aluminum? I don't think we do. That's all clad. Crap. Okay. Well, this is the last thing we're doing tonight is hitting with fluids. I pick up some of that aluminum that's being made from all clad. <laughs> Here we go. The big drive. You guys thought my infrastructure, was, for those of you tuning, tuning in late here, thought my infrastructure was kind of whatever. This is offshore. <laughs> to the right of us, well, here's a gas, a gas station in case we need to refuel the car. To the right of us is a, a giant iron and copper plant. And to the left of us is plastics and rubber and aluminum. I'm not even, I'm not using fuel at all. I mean, I have some for my jetpack, but I'm not using it <laughs> to run generators it's not worth it i get better yield out of the coal generators and now that i'm gonna have nuclear power i'm gonna keep the coals as backup why take it down fair grazing is all flame my blessed darned all flame Yeah, it's all clad there. This should be containers. Is it just because it's slow? No, aluminum ingots are... Whoa. A problem, because aluminum scrap is an issue. Whoa, okay. It's not that I need, it's a luminous solution. That's the problem. Cree. You need to process faster, bro. Game of water. Okay, so we've got a bit of a bottleneck on some of the system here. Do I have a crafting bench? I do. up the water the water gain. Well yep. Yeah. Thanks game. I appreciate that. I'll do it a solution. You should be making ingots. 
ingots in here. I have some scrap. Ingots are going in here. Okay, I'm gonna take 200 ingots. Where's my crafting dock? wasn't expecting to come all the way back here for aluminum, you know? Is that quartz in my inventory? It is. Alright, cool. Let's go chuck these into this system and get the processing plant up for uranium waste and see what it does. What's interesting is you can actually craft, it, you can technically, I think, craft this yourself. I'm not sure. It says blender. Actually, that's a good question. Non-fizzle uranium can only be made in the blender. Okay. So you can't craft it yourself. We're about to see, I think, the final piece of this come to fruition. Now, if I need plutonium for anything, such as for the robot, the uh, space parts, which will be the last couple episodes, is getting the infrastructure up for the last four rocket parts. The complete project, whatever the heck the project's called, I can't even remember anymore. This game is freaking amazing. In a way, I'm glad there's no actual, like, mining, like Minecraft. I mean, it's less overhead on the ticks, but... The logistics, the things you can do are just so good. And I don't know if I'm ready to, to convert this nuclear waste. That's going to be a lot of headaches. I have to pipe it all the way back over here. Now, I'm hoping the nitric acid will do what it's supposed to. It takes 6,000, so I, uh, I may not have enough bottles. I mean, I have 100 more aluminum, so we'll see. Technically, what it should do is it should continue the cycle, though. So we'll see how it works. Go get this bottles into the nitric acid plant and see what happens. Yeah, it should round robin it. It should just return it right back as soon as it empties the bottle from packager to packager. You can make the containers out of plastic. I'm not doing that. I got an alternate recipe that lets me use copper and iron, which is great. Copper sheets and iron plates. So that's a big win. And we have to have silica right here. We go. I will have to cut those trees down at some point. They bother me. I love it. I can, we can see this whole factory right below us. All right, radiation close. Packager bottles. Up the all clad, uh, the all clad in my inventory. You're darn right. We're gonna start upgrading the infrastructure.
Everything gets updated. Everything that's down here needs to be updated to the higher tier. Because if I don't, I'm just doing myself a disservice. All right, what was this? This was... Plates, I think, but we should be okay. Nitric acid. How come you are not... Oh! It would be nice if I connected the pole, right? If I connected to the system. Might be nice to do that. Okay. non fissile uranium time. I think it's time. This is it. This is what we've been working on tonight. Everything I've done here is for this system conversion. We are going to eat up so much of my filters while I'm over here. So let's do this right the first time. Ugh, get away from me, you scary barrels. Did I hook up a final post to this? No, I did not. But we're going to send this stuff over the sky because I don't want it down here in the ground level. Yeah. You can't quite reach, but you will be able to soon. Here we go. We're going to begin raising this stuff up high. Like, real high. Like, I don't care how I get it. I just want it away from me. Nuclear waste barrels. This whole place is no longer habitable by any life form. Are you blending? You are making non fizzly uranium. Holy smokes. Okay. Let's see if this works. Hey, will you not take my fizzle? Nope. It is a toxic material and I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> we're gonna have to. Just tell me we're gonna have to do this. Uh, personal storage box. Inventory, thank you. Okay, so we can't get rid of the non-fizzle. Plutonium pellet takes... It's in the particle accelerator. Awesome, it's more nuclear waste and the non-fizzle. Okay, that's so good. Um, Fizzle. There it is. Get out of my inventory. Okay, good, good, good. Sorry about the microphone, guys. It's me panicking because last time I picked that stuff, nuclear stuff up, I died. Okay. Production. This.
chemical accelerator. Plutonium pellets. Non fissile uranium and uranium waste. Okay. Splitter. go. There it is. I have nowhere safe to stand from the radiation up here. We did it. We got it. We did it. We did it. And there's the plutonium pellet. Oh my god. <laughs> we did it. We got it. We did it. We did it. We finally did it. I can't believe it. All that work. We're now processing the nuclear waste into plutonium. We need to get away from this section. I can't believe it. It's a thing. <laughs> we did it. We did it. It's here. It's done. The only hole in the entire system now. God, the amount of radiation that's up here now is insanity. needs to stop now, please. Radiation need, needs to stop now, please. We are far enough away. What's the problem here? Oh my god, did we hit a bug because I got in the car? And the radiation won't go down? It has to go down too far away. I'm not carrying him any, am I? I must be. I don't see any radiation on me, do you guys? Um... I don't see anything on me that's nuclear. What's going on? Well, if we're gonna die, I wanna die on my base. 
or at least die up here. This has got to be a bug. This has got to be a game bug. But that's fine. It's processing this crap out, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we're gonna die. I mean, we're gonna die. Yeah, let's... This and this and this and this. Computers. Oscillator. This and this. Bombs, ammo, limiters. Yep, we're gonna die. Not even sure why. I somehow got irradiated to the point where I couldn't my suit just failed or I got in the car with all the radiation which bugged it I had something to report that's fine it, it is what it is what it is you know Game bugs, what, what can you do? It's still a beta game, technically. There we go. Now grab my containers. And uh, aside from the fact that I need to make ECMs, we'll do that next session and get the ECMs plugged into the nuclear generator and set up a second nuclear power plant. And then, if I want to make encased plutonium cells, it's the plutonium and concrete. We make concrete right there. Awesome. Plutonium fuel runs would take heat sinks, ECMs, which I'm not going to waste. Steel beams. So if we can send the plutonium pellets away, that'd be sweet. All right, I'm out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed tonight's content. If you did, like, subscribe for notifications, leave a comment, and I'll catch you all next cast. Have a good one.